Okay, now that the scene's starting to come together, we're going to take a look at the render settings. And that means that when we're rendering, everything's going to be a little bit higher quality because we're going to change some settings. So to get to the render settings window, it's this icon here, which is the display render settings window. We'll give that a click. And there are a few things that we want to change. Um, what we're going to do first, we're going to go into the Maya, Maya software tab. We're going to change something in here. So by default, the overall quality is set to custom, uh, which I think is Maya um, code for crap. So we're going to change custom to intermediate, which is not the best, but it's a good trade-off between uh, quality and render time. And then we're just going to scroll down a little bit further, and we're going to turn on ray tracing. Ray tracing handles things like reflections, um, high-end shadows, where the light reflects, ba refracts, bounces, things like that. So it's really good to have that turned on. And it'll, that's the thing that in a second is going to make the projector look really sexy because that's now going to start reflecting. And then we're going to go into the common tab. And we're going to just scroll down until we find um, the presets. By default, it's at HD540, which is okay, but it would be a little bit better if it was at HD720. You can go higher if you want, but for my purposes, 720 is enough and then click on close. Now, frame up a beautiful shot of your room. Um, I want to get my crates in shot, I think. So I'll try something like that. Do a test render and see what it looks like. So you should notice straight away that the window is a lot bigger, but also that it's taking much longer to render. And that's because it's doing a lot more complicated stuff with it. It's working a lot more out. Straight away, you can see that the reflection on the, the projector is working. It's actually a little bit over the top. I think that's more to do with the placement of my light than the, reflect, the reflectivity being too high. But I could turn that down or I could reposition the light. Uh, you can see everything's looking much nicer now as well. So I think what I will do is I'm just going to move this light, if I can select the light. So I want that light. And I'm just going to try and move it off center like that. I'm just going to render again now just to see if the um, reflections on the projector are a little bit less ridiculous. Any second now? Yeah, so that's nicer. So it's still very shiny, but the color's coming through and it's got that polished plastic look that I was going for. And don't forget to get a real uh, idea of how your scene is going to look. Don't forget to turn the gamma correction off and that'll give you a, a nice overall look. Um, so very moody, very gritty, but very sexy.